Hello, Baseball Nation. I'm Mike. And I'm Sam. And we are... The Baseball Guys. So, um, some of you have noticed that we haven't had a video in a while. It's been a while. <laughs> been. Um, actually, we had a very tragic event happen to us. My computer freaked out. Um, long story short, we lost all of our videos that were on our computer. Um, including our National League special that I was about to post and then we had another little video that we we're gonna post later in the week that was completed um, so that happened and that wasn't cool. No, that wasn't cool. So um, we're actually trying to get some of the videos back. One of my friends is big on computers. He's gonna try to get some of the videos back. If we get the National League video back we'll put it up as soon as we do. If not, hopefully we can just remake one uh, later in the week. But for now We've got other things to talk about, so let's get started. Okay, um, the big news this last week in baseball, uh, unfortunately, was the tragic deaths of three great um, baseball uh, personalities. Of course, uh, Harry Callis, 73-year-old announcer for the Phillies. Also, he was the voice of NFL Films. A lot of people knew him for that. Um, been broadcasting since 1965. That was certainly a tragedy for the Phillies organization as well as uh, baseball as a whole. Uh, he was a great uh, voice, unique voice, one of a kind voice. He will be missed. Also, uh, Mark the Bird Fidrick, I think, and uh, yeah, he was a Detroit Tiger great for a couple of years there, Rookie of the Year, two yeah. two All Star. Very appearances. memorable rookie season. Yes, he yeah. had um, seventy six. A lot of people went to the games to watch him. He was a character, and he's he's no longer with us. And then uh, the uh, the. One that made the most news was Nick Adenhart, of course. Uh, the day after he pitched uh, uh, his best game as phenomenal a phenomenal uh, game against the Athletics uh, for the Angels, uh, got hit uh, by a drunk driver, flood the scene, hit and run accident. He was 22 years old, so we remember them. Uh, tragic week in baseball, um, but there were some positive things this week. One of those positive things, of course, is actually happening today, and that is the 62nd. Uh, anniversary of Jackie Robinson's first day in the major leagues is Jackie Robinson Day. Um, of course, this is always this time of year is always uh, a nice celebration of what he did for baseball. Um, the integration of baseball was a tough battle, and, yeah. and he did good. It was a great. It's a great memory. All the teams this year. This is the first year that every team is wearing number forty-two while they're playing Bud Sea League. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but Silly cool. decided that. It's a, it's a nice celebration uh, for a great player. So the first week of baseball is over with. Um, let's talk about what ha what has happened so far. Let's kind of take a look at the standings. Um, a lot of surprises. Yeah, you know, hey, you know. Um, Mike, why are you talking about the American League East? Well, Baltimore and Toronto, two teams that uh, most people, including ourselves, pick to be at the bottom, are at the top for now. Um, of course, it's only the first week of the season, but a great start yeah, for both those Boston, organizations. Boston two and six. You know they're getting some pitching injuries. I heard uh, today was Dice K is going to the DL. Dice K is on the DL for arm fatigue, and then of course the Yankees yeah. pitching. Uh, they've had uh, other than Burnett, they struggle. They struggle. They've been struggling. Uh, other than Burnett and uh, Swisher. Yeah, Swisher. Hey, yeah, yeah. Zero ERA. Yeah, he's doing better than uh, CC Sabathia. Okay, uh, AL Central, tight race. You know, as we thought. I mean, a little. Discouraged to see Cleveland at one and seven. They need to get their pitching worked out, or they're in trouble. Kansas City on top of the AL Central yeah, right we'll now. We'll see how you know it goes. And then in the West, Seattle's on top uh, in that division. Texas is at the bottom. Um, Los Angeles is hanging around there in the middle. Uh, no, that's also a tight division there. Uh, and then over in the National League, you've got Florida on top of the di of the East. How about their young pitching? And their pitching is starting off great. Just yeah, like they can pitch like that the whole year. They can definitely, and it's been six years. That's right. Um, so Washington, this is their year to win. Washington is yet to win. Um, then the Central, Chicago, off to a good start, like people thought. St. Louis has been off to there a good start. Go. Cardinals. Cardinals. Uh, uh, these are as of yesterday, by the way. As of last night, there are games going on all throughout the day. So these standings will change a little bit. But uh, And then Houston's 1-6. And, and then the, in the West, San Diego. San Diego. Oh, hey. hey yeah. that's, so, you know, yeah. Dodgers are right there, you know, of course. You know, San Francisco, you know, they, they need to pick it up a little bit here. Uh, what's up with Lincecum? He, he's struggling <laughs> yeah, his well. first two games, so... We'll see what happens. Yeah, uh, it's early. only the first week of baseball, but that's what's happening so far. Okay, um, pitching right now, a couple big names in the news, uh, a couple big pitchers in the news. Chris Carpenter, 
last night, unfortunately for the Cardinals, a sight that we have seen too often and we do not like seeing. Uh, he'd taken himself out in the third inning. The rib cage injury. He's on a 15 day. Yeah, day yeah. And he, he pitched that great game before you know, giving good, up a hit. Good start seven. to the season. But good start in spring training. Hopefully, um, he can get it all fixed out. Good thing it's not his arm. That's true. Or something. So. And then the other pitcher yeah. in the news, Tom um, Glavin. Tom Glavin is contemplating retirement. Yeah, he's, I think he said he's going to get about two more weeks of rehab, and if he doesn't see any improvement, he's going to call it quits. Great career. So that's all of Famer there. Okay, so one week of baseball is down, and we have already seen some. Unbelievable oh, the defense plays. is crazy. Um, Skip Schumacher made a great play at second a couple nights ago, uh, leaping into the air. Um, B.J. Upton made an unbelievable Willie Mays-like catch crashing into the fence. Yes. Um, there's been a couple robbed home runs, if I'm not mistaken. But um, me and Sam both agree that so far the play of the year, the play of this first week. Um, Goes to the so Cubbies. Goes to the Cubbies, which, yeah, so you know it was a good play. We're saying that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Reed Johnson Unbelievable catch. robbing Prince Fielder of a grand slam. Uh, which, Prince Fielder. Would have tied the game. Walking off the field, uh, actually took off his yeah, helmet. It was, it was that good of a catch. It was an important part of the game. So. Unbelievable catch. Rob grand slam. Um, so that was our Baseball Guys Play of the Week. And since MLB copyright restrictions uh, do not allow us to show you that play, um, here's our version. Even with the bases loaded, there's a high drive, deep right field, back is Johnson, he makes a spectacular catch, he robbed him of a grand slam. Well, that was quite a nice play. Yeah, yeah I think they myself. should sign us. So. I think the Cubs uh, need to look into signing us. So yeah. They <laughs> <can feel that. laughs> but anyway, um, so that was our reenactment. I hope you didn't throw up or anything. Um, that's our show, I guess. Grow up. Nice. Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, that's our show. So uh, yeah. Anyway, that's our show. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the delay. We will get another video to you weekly now, hopefully. Yes, if that's the goal. You know, unless you know, an we, alien comes and destroys my computer or something bad ha like that happens. But anyway, thanks for watching. Leave comments if you wish. Hope you guys enjoyed the first week of baseball. I know we have. Yeah. Um, we thought it would be fitting for the Baseball Guys quote of the week uh, to leave you with a quote from Harry Callis, who again died at the age of 73, the great Phillies announcer. Um, this was his la the last uh, thing he got to say uh, in postseason. His last postseason game was announcing a, a Phillies World Series win. Kind of fitting. And his quote was, Philadelphia Phillies are 2008 world champions of baseball. And of course, he puts such great emphasis yes. on the words and... He really was a great announcer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Join us again next week. Please subscribe. Please rate. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. All right. Word up. See you next week. Did I just say word up? Uh, you huh. Number three hundred. What's up now? Three hundred. Back to back 300? Are you kidding me? So you might be wondering why we just uh, hit back to back 300 home runs. So that was uh, that was a little tribute to uh, Jermaine Dye and Paul Canerco. I was Paul. He was Jermaine. No, was Other Jermaine. way around. I was Jermaine. He was Paul. And back to back then, 300 yeah. home runs. First time that's ever happened in uh, Major League Baseball. Pretty neat. We forgot to mention that in our show. So uh, here there it you is. Go.